How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Gamecock Talk here on the channel. I am your host, b Lex Memes. Today, the topic is something that is probably the biggest news of the offseason so far, outside of maybe the last transfer video I made in Jaheim Bell, um, you know, Marshawn Lloyd transferring, stuff like that. Gamecock signed offensive coordinator Dow. Um, from what I understand, you pronounce it Dow Loggins. I believe it's, you don't really pronounce the A, so it's not Loggins. Um, from my understanding, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below, but an interesting hire to say the least. Now, I have been skeptical of this. You can ask my friends. You can ask people that I've talked to um, online. I have been one of those people that's questioning this process. I, one of the, I was one of those people that has wondered why we'd be going after this guy, um, especially with the very lackluster results he had in the NFL. And yes, I do understand, you know, the NFL and college football are completely different levels. Um, I think it's, um, a, you know, day and night as far as play calling in the NFL and play calling in college football. So yes, not completely over with. We aren't going to write Dow Loggins off um, immediately. It's just, I think the biggest issue with it from most fans and from the perspective of a, you know, a Gamecock fan is that it's very underwhelming. There seemed like there was other you know, candidates that we had a chance at that we just didn't even go after, or maybe we don't know what went on behind the door or behind the scenes, but it just seems like there were other candidates that we had a chance at, but we didn't really pursue them. Other candidates that were better um, or perceived to be better that we didn't go after because we kind of found our guy or what Beamer thought is his guy early on in the search, and he basically sat on it. Um, and it had been around for about a week now that Dow Loggins is possibly going to be the offensive coordinator. It took them a little bit to, I guess, get contracts situated. It took them a little bit to get all of that right. And, um, you know, now today announced an hour ago or 11 hours ago, Dow Loggins is officially signed as the offensive coordinator for the Gamecocks. Obviously, on a controversial signing, Beamer came out in SEC Media Day or I guess Gamecock Media Day and made some very, very good statements about it. He also looked a little flustered and a little angry with the media, with the fans and stuff, and I don't completely blame him. Um, and while I don't always agree with everything he said, I do understand um, at the end of the day, the best thing we can do, there's no need to hate on this guy. Um, I mean, he hasn't even had a chance to coach a single play for the Gamecocks, so we'll just have to see how it goes. Basically, if he comes out next year and he's terrible, then we were all right. If he comes out next year and he was good, then a large majority of us are wrong. Beamer made the right decision, but as of right now, I think we just need to stand neutral on it. We need to um, understand that Beamer is the head coach. He's doing what he feels is best to get this team going, and hopefully it's going to be something that makes or is ends up being the right decision as far as hiring this offensive coordinator now we're going to talk about a little bit of his statistics i told you guys a few weeks ago or a few videos ago that i wanted to research it a little more and um as most of you have probably heard by now his years in the nfl weren't exactly the most impressive he had years you know with the um, dolphins with the bears with the jets most notably probably the worst year um in 2019 2020 under adam gase where he um, you know, hosted what was probably a historically bad offense. Um, and he had, you know, basically voted in as one of the worst play callers in the NFL. And so a lot of negative stuff going around um, this guy in Dow Loggins. And I'm going to be the first person to say, like I said earlier in the video, I'm not blameless in this. I am a skeptic right now, but there's so many good things that have been said about him. Arkansas fans are genuinely upset and losing him, as you can tell. I mean, he was a good tight ends coach. He is an excellent, excellent recruiter. He obviously has some type of charisma or value at, because there have been multiple you know, players and other coaches vouching for this guy, most notably Connor Shaw, a Gamecock alumni and probably the greatest quarterback at South Carolina of all time. So there's a lot going good for Coach Loggins now. There's also a lot of skeptics going around, and I don't really blame either side. And I'm kind of just going to sit in the middle on this one because I'm not going to claim that I'm some big supporter of this signing. I don't want to be some big hater of this signing. I kind of want to sit in the middle and see where the cards fall on this. And um, I guess we'll have to just wait and see whether or not this implodes, whether or not this becomes an absolutely terrible hire or whether or not Beamer made what is going to be a um, shockingly good hire if Loggins is able to be successful here on the college level and it just takes time to see 
I understand, you know, right now it looks bad because of his, you know, his history. Then we also have had multiple people enter the transfer portal immediately after hiring him. So um, it doesn't look the best. But at the end of the day, I do think that um, Beamer knows what he's doing. This guy has some potential and we're just going to have to see how he can perform at a college level. If you guys agree or disagree, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this signing down in the comments down below. As always, hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy these type of videos. Thank you all for watching me again on this one, and I shall see you next time. Peace.